hello everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i am diving into the most commonly asked question at accenture so if you are preparing for the accenture interview this questions which i will be discussing in this video can be very helpful whether you are a fresher or an experienced professional these questions can help you to get a clear edge in your preparation so make sure you watch the video till end this could be the boost to your next interview don't forget to like share and subscribe for such more beautiful content like this so are you ready let's get started here are the questions i'll just start from the first question which is from core java section so the first question which was asked from the core java was difference between list set and map with real use cases Then next question is how does hash map handle collision internally? So these are the very important questions that uh, you will face in most of the interview for the Java backend developer. So prepared well. The next question is explain the difference between comparable and comparator. What is the use of volatile in Java? And the last question from the course section was difference between synchronized method versus synchronized block. So these are the questions which are mostly asked in most of the interview at Accenture. Now let's move to Spring and Spring Boot section. So in Spring and Spring Boot, uh, the first question is, which is sixth question overall, what is the role of a Spring Boot starter dependency? So as a Spring Boot uh, developer, you should know the importance. Then question number seventh is, Difference between at the rate auto add and at the rate qualifiers. So we know like Spring Boot provides many annotation that makes the developer life easier. So you should also be very familiar with very common annotations which are being used. And these are the very common like, like this is very common auto add you will be using very often in, in any project you work. Then question number eight is how do you handle global exception handling in Spring Boot REST APIs? Question number nine is what is the difference between application dot properties and application dot YML? And the last question from this section is how do you implement Spring Boot profile for different environment? So these are the questions which are most commonly asked from the Spring and Spring Boot. Now let's move to JPA and Hibernate. So question number 11 is what is difference between save, save or update or persist in Hibernate? Next question is explain lazy loading and how to avoid lazy initialization exception. So what is the difference between native query and JPQL? And how does at the rate one to many mapping work? And the last question is explain optimistic versus pessimistic locking in JPA. So when we talk about the Hibernate, right, it is an ORM which maps our Java project to the database and it handles uh, most of the database query in the project. So and these are the very important questions uh, that you can look uh, for that you can look from the JPA and Hibernate. Now let's move to the microservices section part of the video. So the 16th question is difference between monolithic and microservices architecture. And 17th question, how do you implement service registry and discovery? What is the role of API gateway in microservices? And question number 19, how do you handle configuration management in microservices? And the last question from the microservices is, what is the circuit breaker pattern and where do you use it? So these are the very commonly concept which are used from the microservices. Uh, whenever you are uh, giving this interview, you should having the complete uh, understanding of these basic questions from the microservices and architecture section. And now let's move to the last section of the video, which is Cloud and DevOps. So first question here in this section is, what is the difference between Docker image and Docker container? 
एंड सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन हाउ ए सी आई सी डी पाइप लाइन वर्क इन रियल टाइम प्रोजेक्ट अगेन दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इफ यू आर ए बैक एंड डेवलपर और एनी डेवलपर यू शुड बी नोइंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ सी आई सी डी हाउ इट वर्क इन रियल प्रोजेक्ट सो लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वाट इज लोड बैलेंसिंग एंड हाउ इज इट अचीव्ड इन द क्लाउड हाउ डू यू मोनिटर ए स्प्रिंग बूट अप्लीकेशन बेसिकली any application you work monitoring is a very important aspect because that gives you all the data related to your application in production about the performance about uh, how it is doing well when the traffic is huge on your website etc that you can analyze uh, through this monitoring and the last question is difference between scaling vertically versus horizontally with examples so again Scaling is a very important uh, when it comes to the huge traffic to your website. So it, your website should not crash when the traffic is huge. So you should be able to scale your website as soon as the traffic increases. So these are the very important questions which I discuss in the video. If you are looking or you are having any interview at Accenture, uh, this question can be a very helpful in order to prepare for your. next interviews uh, but i would also add that don't completely depend on these questions you can explore other areas as well but this question can definitely tell you like what type of questions you can expect in your interview the level of the question will be the similar so you can prepare well with this questions what i have discussed in this video and uh, one tip i i would like to tell you for the people who are watching this video is that you should be focusing more on the hands on on these questions rather than focusing more into the just theory part of it because if you have a good hands on on the concept you will be more confident and your interview will go very smoothly if you have a complete hands on knowledge on these questions if you find this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and comment Thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video